Tyler Trahan with the North Carolina Transportation Museum. What is our At The Throttle program? Only one way to find out. At The Throttle is done with visiting steam locomotives. You can buy a ticket and be taught by certified locomotive engineers how to run a steam engine. Your direction control, you push it all the way forward, we go forward, pull it all the way back and we go back. Okay. And you have the engine brake here. So right now it's fully applied, all the way over here to your right. Okay. You move it over here to your left and the brakes release. Okay, this is a self-lapping brake? It is. Okay. So when I stepped into the cab, uh, everyone was, was very welcoming. People in the cab were uh, my engineer instructor and then two firemen who would keep the, the fire going and keep steam pressure in the engine for me to use. The engineer showed me all the controls, what they did, and then walked me through running the engine step by step. So just give it two short blasts real quick. There you go. Bell, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, start coming out in the throttle. There you go. Feel it. Just start. When you pull on the throttle, um, there's a pressure that resists you. That's the, the steam pressure of the valve. So you pull on it, you definitely feel that raw power. If you yank that throttle wide open, you just take off like a rocket. Start to move. Just like that. There you go. Come out a little more. Go a little faster. Come out a little more. Come out a little faster. This is actually not my first time in a steam locomotive. I was a fireman for a steam powered railroad out in Colorado, so I spend hundreds of miles with a coal scoop in my hand. I have run diesel locomotives before. With a diesel locomotive, you can move the levers, but you don't feel it. You have to look out the window at the ground to see what the locomotive is doing. But with a steam locomotive, the more I pull on the throttle, the faster it goes, and I can feel that acceleration. You almost get a physical feedback, and that, that felt really good. You get half an hour running the engine back and forth several times. You run it just the engine by itself. You don't have to worry about a train behind you or anybody else on that track. It's really a simple process. Before you move the locomotive, you have to select if you're going forward or backwards with the Johnson bar. You have to blow the whistle and ring the bell. Two, two whistles is going forward, three whistles is going backwards. Then you release the brake, open the throttle slowly, and you're off. The more I ran, the more comfortable I felt. Running the locomotive, I kind of got a feel for how much throttle and brake I needed to use to make the locomotive do what I wanted. The surprisingly challenging part is blowing the whistle well. Uh, it's really easy to pull on the cord too hard and make it screech. The more I ran the engine, the better I got at making the whistle sound nice. Which, as you know, is a big part of running a locomotive well. <laughs> Well done, sir. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. Well done. Thank you. Okay. There's a magic to steam locomotives. Part of it, of course, is the machine itself. It hits every one of your senses. Sight, smell, sound, touch, if you're running the engine. And then, of course, there's the history where steam locomotives built this country. And here I am, 150 years later, with my hand on the throttle, experiencing that firsthand.